Hi everybody, Jonathan here from the House Pro Takeoff team. Today I'm going to run you through how to do a concreting takeoff using this exact set of plans. As you can see, I've already completed it. What I'm going to do here is check the three dots at the bottom of the thumbnail and I'm going to clone the page. You have the option to clone it with and without measurements. In this instance, I'm going to clone it without so as we have a fresh page with which to do a new takeoff. You can also rename this page. So in this example, we're going to rename it phase two. But the more you name things and label them correctly, the easier it will be for you to follow it at a later stage if you come back to it in two or three months or on the estimates page. A great feature we've added is the keyword search. So simply, I'm going to type asphalt into the search bar and it will return the pages where asphalt is present and how many times it is present on that page. This could give you peace of mind when you've got a 60 page document so as you make sure that all the pages with asphalt on it have been covered. You can select the PDS from the menu on the left hand side. You can choose your line width down here. I'm going to show you how that's applicable in a moment. Now we set the scale. Very importantly to note, House Pro is automatically set as a quarter inch is equal to a foot. As you can see on these plans, it is one inch is equal to 20 feet. So select from the drop down and then best practice is to make a known length and make sure that the plans are calibrated correctly. Select the length tool, click to start, double click to finish the measurement. And if this matches up, then you know all of your measurements going forward will be correct. Now let's start the takeoff. Best practice again is to familiarize yourself with the plans and set up your groups ahead of time. So in this plan, we're going to do our standard duty asphalt, heavy duty asphalt, concrete and curb and gutter. To set up a group, we're going to set up the curb and gutter. Select the length, hit new group, give it a name, give it a color. And if it's something you measure every time you upload a set of plans to House Pro, you can save it to your favorites. This will automatically save it to your account and it will be available for selection with every new project you upload. Once you've got the curb and gutter selected, you go to a point on the plan to start. Click to start, click to drop a marker and change direction. And when you're finished the measurement, double click. You will see it appear in the measurements drawer under the folder curb and gutter. Here is where we can increase the line width. Because these plans are a little bit bigger, we might want to increase the line width so as we can see exactly where we're measuring. Once we've got the curb and gutter selected, you can continuously measure and it will add in to the folder, giving you the total lineal feet of curb and gutter. Now we're going to get the area of our heavy duty asphalt. Select the polygon. Because we already have the heavy duty asphalt set up, it is available for us in the drop down. It works the same as the length tool. Click to start, click to drop a marker and change direction and double click to finish and you will see it appear in the group HD Asphalt. I've skipped ahead to measure the concrete the same way I've done the heavy duty asphalt with the polygon. You can see here by collapsing the drawer, you will be able to hover over the individual measurements and they will illuminate on the canvas. This can just make sure that you have everything boxed off. Also, you can see on the plans that the depth of the concrete is 10 inches. What you can do is check the blue box in the middle of the measurements drawer, and this will give you the option to add in additional parameters such as height, width, depth, or pitch. In this example, we're going to be able to give it a depth of 10 inches, which is going to give us our cubic yards of concrete we need for the job. If you're dealing with sloped surfaces, you can change the depth and an individual measurement by selecting that blue box. Also on House Pro, what you're able to do is duplicate any measurement that you've already done and treat it differently with additional dimensions. In this example, for our curb and gutter, we're going to duplicate that, call it drop edge and give it a depth of 10 inches for a total square feet of drop edge. You can then get the perimeter of any area you've done. So again, for concrete, we can get the perimeter of that area and put it in as our retaining walls, for example. Now we're going to run through the count. Here you can do any count you need for piers or parking base, whatever it is. Select the count, give it a, an icon with which to represent it on the plans and go around clicking where you see that count. 
Next, we have the annotation feature. This is really handy for if you need to ask questions or you want to direct your guys on site uh, by leaving notes on the plans. Select Annote. The text will automatically be selected, so you can put in whatever it is that you want. You can use the arrow feature to point to exactly what you're referring to and be very specific. You also have the options to highlight as well as use the cloud feature to draw attention to large parts of the plan. Anything you do on the plan will be on the markups you can download from the House Pro site. So as I said, you can send them to your guys on site or to your contractors or the clients. Just being really specific in your questions and making sure that there are no uh, mistakes or misunderstandings when you get on site. This has been a really quick overview of how you can use House Pro to do your concrete takeoff. Keep in mind, this is applicable to all trades. You just need to be able to work it for your own purposes. You'll be able to send professional estimates to your clients and win more work using House Pro. Mm -hmm.